Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and I'm back at Universal Studios Hollywood for another Super Nintendo World construction update to check out some other products around the park. So let's get right to it. Looking at Super Nintendo World, <clears throat> you say not too much has changed, but also seems like a lot more scaffolding has started to appear. Um, specifically on this section of the project by Mario Kart, the Bowser's Castle entrance, and uh, yeah, the not too much happening over by Mount Beanpole, but over by the uh, the right side of the land. A lot more scalping starts to appear is that next step in the theming uh the the facade work continues and uh yeah starting to see some major oh not major but progress happening on this land since it was kind of stagnant for a couple at least like a few weeks but now the rest of the land is matching mountain bean poles the status with the scaffolding so hopefully in a few weeks or sooner we start seeing some of uh, that um, some uh, some theming take place and look there's even some more I just spotted this more of those blue wall drywall or blue pieces siding pieces and uh, some are already on the feature that show building and some are getting ready to put on here which is fantastic uh, that means this hopefully will be covered in blue or at least partial blue like Mount Beanpole and even some more blue has been added over here. So hopefully that uh, starts that and then it'll be covered in tarp. Then it'll be facade revealed. I mean, that's obviously not what it's gonna look like, but it'll be much more interesting than that. But yeah, I'm super excited for that. Let's go ahead downstairs and see what we can see from the starway. But first, let's take a couple of stops. So it looks like in the water area, we have some scaffolding as it goes through a repainting as it starts to get into the fall time here. It gets a little cooler. Still nice and warm right now, about 80, 70, 80 degrees. But it is starting to rain more in Southern California now as the illumination's shining bright like a diamond. But um, yeah, so this is the perfect time. Two nice little refurb now that the hottest months of the year are over. And get it ready for spring and summer and with a nice repaint job as you can see they washed out there they know that could be primer but i think it could be just dirt um as they get ready to repaint this it's very dirty and it could be actually some, maybe some primer but i don't know but i can't wait to see this when it's all done be nice and bright bright pink and white and green and all these fancy colors here just a quick look at the Ferber Simpsons building. They didn't do the other side of it yet, and I just want to show you what it looks like. A nice new repainted side, all purple and red. And then this other side, how faded it looks from this hot Southern California sun. It's, a, it's actually a really massive contrast, as you can see. I wonder uh, if we're going to go back and refurbish this later on, maybe after they finish with the water park area. Because, wow, I mean, look at that. Brand new and dark. Very light and faded. It still looks great though. Okay, so we got some major news from the Backlot Project. We got some verticality. Yes, the brand new walls for these sound stages going up. That um, and they have a whole bunch of concrete, and it's actually the big crane there. This one up very fast. Remember, a week ago it was still flat, and a lot of sounds and a lot of foundations. You see there's some of the foundations that are still working long, but there's still um, concrete there and some even some wood framing. But look, these are yeah, brand new concrete walls that have popped up. And that is quite, quite impressive. Uh, I'm, the studio tour area is closed right now. But I'll be back tomorrow or Sunday to go ahead and check this out further. Maybe even do a separate small construction update just on this part as we finally get some nice verticality. Cause this is really, very very cool so that means the universal campus project we still got the two massive cranes right there but i looked from uh 
the upper lot there's not much you can see on um, yet it's not it's feeling vertical but it's not hasn't the building hasn't climbed to a point where you can see the rebar and concrete yet so we still just got this awesome little skyline here of universal er, cranes by universal city and i'll be watching this every single week of course but let's go back to super nintendo world so yes scaffolding wraps around the entire project the exterior of the project now up all the way from Mount Beanpole, which looks like we got even more scaffolding now like you can see from at least on this side. That's very exciting. Hope we get some, again, some theming happening there very soon. At least some, some tarps. And then theming. Yeah, more scaffolding here on Mount Beanpole. And then perhaps all the way around uh, the land now, which is really, really awesome. And each of those steel cages is, again, wrapped in st scaffolding, which is nice. Um, and the Bowser's Castle entrance, or sorry, no, not Bowser's Castle. I think this might be the Yoshi restaurant. Uh, that's even getting um, getting some work done as well. And some, again, cherry pickers happening on the lower floor. You can't really see what's happening bus besides behind those mounts. But there's always a cherry picker there and it's always moving around. So I feel like a lot of work is being done down there. And the Bowser's Castle entrance looks fantastic. And that is even being worked out. You can see what maybe a little work light, unless that's the sun popping up right there that's super awesome seeing lots of progress and again i'll be back here on saturday or sunday to get an update on the back of my project but i'll also see if i can see if i can see some stuff from down below or uh some stuff i didn't notice here for super nintendo world and this update as well last tip on the way out universal has already started setting up for grinchmas and now grinchmas is on november 26th you can see the lights wrapping around the entire plaza all the way up to the yard all the way over the exit onto the top buildings through Main Street or through Hollywood Boulevard. I can't wait for the holidays at the Universal and holidays at Disneyland. Again, Grinchmas and the holidays start November 26th, Black Friday here at Universal Studios Hollywood. And that's going to do it for this week's Universal Studios Hollywood update. Super Nintendo World Construction Update and major progress on the back lot. Again, stay tuned for later on tomorrow or on Sunday. I'm going to do another construction update just for the back lot project because that uh, <laughs> that has a major progress going on with those walls. We're going to deep dive and dig into that uh, since the studio tour was closed and I couldn't go closer into that today. What do you think about the Super Nintendo World finally getting some nice uh, uh, fa uh, scaffolding on the right hand side of the project Grinchmas and holidays already setting up here at universal studios hollywood uh the backlog project moving quite quickly as always and more this is also the final weekend of halloween horror nights if you have not been i'm posting a video this weekend on sunday of all well almost all of the halloween horror nights mazes and scare zones you can tell me below which one's your favorite if you liked this video, press the thumbs up and subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.